hello guys welcome back to fe stack today in this video i want to share with you uh, about the fira code uh, ligature in your vs code so fira code ligature is a uh, is a way of uh, uh, rendering the some of the your vs code feature uh, in a different way in a more readable or more user friendly way so for example that uh, once you enable the fira code ligature in your vs code uh, the arrow will be shown like this and the, uh, the comparison operator which is 3 equal to uh, uh, symbols uh, will be shown like this okay so I will uh, showing you the full example how you could use and also at the last of the video I will show you that how you could achieve this kind of theme in your VS code which is uh, very ice friendly and very user friendly I personally recommend you that you can use this theme which is very good uh, in terms of uh, in terms of coding and uh, uh, in terms of uh, more user friendliness and uh, if you see this uh, this theme is like uh, once this theme is called uh, operator mono uh, theme and uh, yeah, I will show you uh, uh, how you can enable this one. Uh, you can easily download in uh, VS Code Marketplace. So stay tuned for more action. Welcome back, guys. So uh, let me uh, shortly introduce you uh, what is a Fira code ligature. The Fira code uh, ligature is a free monoscope font uh, containing uh, ligatures, which I showed you in the introduction for common programming multiple characters uh, combination. This is just a font rendering feature. Underlying code remains uh, ASCII compatible. So this helps you to read and understand code faster so let me show you the example uh, what it what does it mean by saying that so so in the example uh, if you see that uh, this ligature once you enable it it converts your your symbols like this uh, for example comparison operator arrows plus plus these all are various way of rendering the your code symbols which is very good for your for your coding and for your um, for your eyes i mean you can easily distinguish between the normal uh, between the normal symbols if you are using uh, uh, comparison if it renders the comparison operators like this it will be more user friendly and it is it is more understandable that what does it means so once you enable it uh, it will be more fun to your coding so i hope you will enjoy this one so uh let me show you how you can enable this one first you come to this github repo and this link i will uh, show you in the video's description and here it is all mentioned that how you can use this font ligature so first of all the step uh, using this fira code uh, ligature is to download this folder which is mentioned here and then go to the how to install section okay so i already downloaded this folder so let me uh, show you the so this folder once you download it it contains this uh, these files right and then uh, once you double click on this read more read more dot tx read me sorry read me dot txt file it has mentioned that how you can install these uh, fonts in your uh, vs code or in your system so if you are using windows uh, there is a way to install these fonts or you can simply uh, double click on this ttf uh, folder which has all these uh, fonts right so you can just control a and then copy all fonts and then if you are using the windows you can just uh, go to the uh, in windows uh, there is a font folder in your control panel you will find there and then paste these all fonts there and you can later come to the vs code and i will show you how you can uh, enable that but if you are using mac like i'm using mac so 
you just select these all fonts and then right click and then open it and then open with font book and then it will install all the fonts and if you have a different way of installing if you are using in in the mac if you are using a brew then there is a commands you can run and then it will install automatically okay so once the installation is finished you can come to the vs code and you can come to the settings and in the settings uh, let me remove this one first so in the settings once you enable this fira code uh, settings like editor.fontfamily in your vs code so it will enable the font ligature in your in your uh, in your vs code and then you have to tell them that okay editor.font ligature should be true and once this uh, done you can go back to your uh, any of your uh, component uh, the .ts file i mean any of javascript file and you can immediately s s see that the the font ligature will be enabled or if it is not enabling then you have to restart your uh, vs code again okay that's the first thing i wanted to show you and the second thing is that if you see the uh, if you see the uh, the theme which i am using right now is uh, operator uh, mono uh, theme so operator mono theme uh, if i go here i show you this one operator mono dark theme the the operator mono dark theme is like it is a very good uh, theme and uh, the most important uh, thing to know or to see in this theme is that this uh, this kind of italicness uh, of the some of the features which uh, like in javascript uh, it is enabling the italic uh, of the function or uh, um, yeah, or the global variables or the variables in the italic form so it will be clearly visible that what does it mean and um, in a normal coding uh, if uh, it is not italic i mean it's difficult to read or uh, you know it's not more user friendly so in this way why i like this theme is that uh, clearly visible that uh, okay this is uh, export and then this is interface it's uh, highlighting and it's very uh, very eye friendly right and uh, if you go to some of any html and in the html if you see that the class name is in italic and then uh, this router link active or other other attributes are in italic so it clearly differentiate that what is that what does it means actually right if you want to use this operator mono dark theme i would recommend you that you use also a operator mono font which is also a ligature font right i mean you can use that one as well uh, to use that one uh, like in uh, setting.json file uh, you can uh, let me control z so as soon you notice that as soon as i just enable it that uh, the look and feel of this uh, fonts has changed so uh, now you can see the difference this all fonts like i mean it looks very good actually for me i mean i'm uh, programming uh, since a uh, couple of years right so um, if the programming is not fun then uh, it's very difficult to code so in my personal opinion the programming should be fun right and uh, especially the themes and the, it looks more professional and uh, it keeps you motivating to code actually but this uh, operator mono theme uh, supports uh, this operator mono font actually font ligature so you should have also this uh, uh, operator mono log ligature font so if you google it then you will probably find that uh, this is a paid actually it's not a free but uh, in this video uh, i have uh, since i have a uh, operator mono uh, league uh, fonts uh, so i wanted to share with the community so i 
personally i uh, added these fonts in my um, github repo let me show you so this is my github repo and uh, if you come here i have this uh, dev fonts and you go there and then you just and if you see i have uh, this uh, fira code fonts as well you just click it here and uh, you will see all these uh, ttf fonts uh, is available here you can uh, you can download it from here as well but for operator mono uh, i have this all the fonts so what you have to do is that you just download the font with the extension otf in your uh, system and then install it like uh, you did uh, fira code right in macbook or in windows so once you install all these fonts and you come to the vs code you just have to mention that your font family should be operator monolink and then your your workbench color theme should be operator mono dark theme right once you enable it you will enjoy this theme and uh, i hope uh, you will like it and then uh, you will also with share with your friends and then you can show them that uh, how how uh, beautiful this theme is so in this video that's it i hope uh, you like it and then uh, if you like it then um, please subscribe my channel and then uh, show show your love uh, uh, in the comments and then uh, let me know your uh, feedback how do you uh, like uh, this theme and um, yeah it will uh, keeps motivating me to do uh, some more stuff in the future and uh, thanks for watching and uh, rock on.